What's up guys, welcome back to Chov, welcome back to, uh, you may be tempted to say Road to Golden Age, but it's not. It's actually a video on how I got my locked adventuring strong boxes and how you should get them as well. Most of you may already know this, but let me do a video basically containing my daily morning routine. Basically, when I wake up and uh, I'm in a mood of uh, playing Chov... I uh, do the following stuff, usually it was just a qubit farming, basically filling my star bar fully, but now it kinda changed because I got some uh, some other fun activities. And let me just cut the chase and uh, show you why I do exactly step by step. So I open the uh, world atlas, but not and I'm not picking the first world in here, not picking the medieval highlands because I, I haven't managed to uh, spawn next to a uh, quest giver for some reason. I guess there's no such structures being generated there, so I skip this and go straight to permafrost. That's the first world I enter, click enter, and I'm gonna explain why in a second. So once I spawn in here, uh, let me see, there's a quest giver right next to the, uh, right, right next to me basically, and this is the first quest of the day, gathering glacial shards. Um, yeah, accept it. Well, I've already completed it for the day, but you will have to accept it and uh, farm something like 10 glacial shards for a bunch of adventure in exchange. And that's another way I farm my adventure from now on. All you have to do once you uh, accept that quest is roam around, find some glacial shards, ideally in a cave somewhere, but it doesn't really matter. You will find them in no time. Now, something to keep in mind while uh, farming these uh, quests. You should uh, try and find some medieval biomes next to you. So, for example, there's one right next to me and if possible, go visit it. If you remember from earlier, we skipped the medieval highlands worlds, but well the world because it's a single one but uh, we still have quests to do in them so if possible if spawned next to a medieval highlands biome try and uh, take a look take a peek see if there's any outposts uh, available to you. Basically, that's why I try to do. As soon as I'm done with the Poron Frost quest, uh, I either uh, teleport to the next world or uh, if I got, like in this example right here, if I got a medieval highland spawn right next to me, I will uh, explore it just quickly. Not gonna spend too much time in it. For, for example, I'm tempted to just teleport away at this point and uh, try find some other places. But let's give it a little bit. Let's fully explore it and uh, see if there's any outposts in here or not. Though honestly, by the looks of things, it's pretty much dry. So that said, we will skip this one. We have failed the Medieval Highlands uh, for now, and we will go to the next world, which, following this succession of things, is gonna be the Curse Veil, so enter. I gotta say, this is definitely more fun than my old routine, consisting of uh, just Filling my cupid bar and tombs. Anyway, next uh, quest is gonna be clearing of a curse call. Just accept it. And um, quick tip, it actually says if you go next to a dungeon, and let me find one myself. I've also spotted some medieval highland biomes right there. We will check them in a second, but let me uh, let me get done with this quest and uh, give you some tips on it, on uh, how you can clear it as quick as possible. It's just a shame all my dungeons next to me are completed already. But here's one that hasn't been finished. Oh, collection challenge! I should probably get on it. Uh, it actually says when you get close to uh, when you get close to a dungeon that hasn't been completed. It actually says what type of boss it has. For for example, this one says it's got a Viking Bonyal, which isn't course call, So I say you just skip it, especially since you're on, you're in like. It's not even Uber 1, just skip it, go past it. Until you find your curse holes, I'm gonna show you what it says when you uh, found such a dungeon. Let's see, is this one gonna be it? <laughs> Don't mind the lag. And no, this one has a death knight, if you, if you see it right there. So I'm also gonna be skipping that one. What about this one? Fingers crossed for a cursed... No, Viking Bonial again. <laughs> There's a guy ahead of me that's basically clearing all dungeons, so... May take a while unless I change worlds, but anyway, let's see if that dungeon had a curse calls, if I'm fast enough to get there in time. And no, a Viking Bonial, I'm gonna keep, uh, at least I, at least I passed that guy. Oh, finally, look at that, it says right there, activate the curse calls, guys, it never took this long for me to find one such uh, dungeon-like structure, just activate the scrolls and uh, clear everything and you will be good to go. That's all you have to do for this quest. Now, let me try the medieval highlands that were nearby. 
Yeah, they're not nearby anymore, so I'm not gonna bother. Let's go to the next map, which is gonna be the desert frontier and click enter by the way that's how you get the boxes if you haven't uh, realized so far by completing such quests there's a random chance not every quest is gonna get you a box but every quest is gonna get you adventure in which is uh, fairly useful especially especially since you will need to buy adventure in strong box keys to open these boxes as you can see right there 500 adventure in for a single key pretty pricey but anyway now that we're in uh, we are in desert frontier the quest here is gonna ask for four missile firemen no shape stone you gotta mine shape stone it's around 60 or 100 simply bump as many shapes on deposits as you find and uh, you will complete this in no time should i go for the medieval highlands in there Oh well, so I just did a challenge instead. I guess we're gonna go past the desert frontier also. We are gonna go next uh, into the Fey Forest, I suppose. First Uber 1 world. Let me see. Quest in here, I think he asks for uh, gathering of resources such as... Let me see, let me see where's the quest at. Gather fairy dust or enchanted wood. It's gonna ask for a total of 10 such ingredients and you have the liberty to either um, gather these three stumps that naturally spawn uh, in these worlds or simply do dungeons or kill enemies for fairy dust drops. It's gonna happen, uh, it's gonna be done real quick and oh I got some medieval highlands, let me go into medieval highlands see if I find a quest from there. Yeah. And I seem to be in luck, I found one such outpost which I highly encourage you to finish. Uh, this one is gonna ask for completion of 5 dungeons, so complete dungeons, 5 exactly, just do any type of dungeon that you wish and you will get your rewards. Oh, there's also a donation station, we will talk about it in a uh, few moments. So we're done with both Fey and the Medieval Highlands, now we are free to easily do the next, such as the Kandoria world, which is... Uh, I, I think it has a quest asking you to mine for me site, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, it's pretty much uh, pretty much similar to the shapes on one. Yeah, there you go. Mine formicide. You just mine formicide. Either 60 or uh, or 100. Forgot the total amount. It's one easy quest to uh, fully complete. Let me see. After that comes the Neon City, which is rather interesting. It may take a little longer, this one, to complete than others. This one is gonna ask you to make a Luminopolis donation. Simply accept it and uh, travel in Luminopolis biomes. We're in Neon City as of right now. By the way, Luminopolis looks like... Uh... Huh, I'm a little bit confused. It's either this <laughs> or this on the map. But I think it's the darker one, so go there and uh, let me show you how one such outpost donation thingy looks like. It's basically an outpost, the uh, the old school outposts that now have a donation station. I'm seeing something that looks like one. Not sure if this is uh, gonna have an, uh, a, a donation station or not. We can check right now because it's super close actually. I think, okay, but wow, this has to be the, the quickest... <laughs> the quickest time I spent finding one such donation and uh, donation station, right? So simply press E and make a donation. In my case, I'm basically doing lots of trophy and protection found donation thingies because I got lots of memory matrices and uh, it's only gonna ask for one. But you can also uh, give logic loops away uh, or uh, charge circuits or plasmium, right? You choose whatever you wish to donate. In my case, this one seems to be the best bet. After you're done with this, simply move on to the Jurassic Jungle, so let's go in there. Here the quest is gonna ask you to uh, kill a T-Rex. So yeah, go go find one. <laughs> That's how you kill them, you gotta find one. Simply fly over the canopy until you spot one such creature. You probably, you probably know what T-Rexes look like, but uh, just in case, let me find one myself and there you have it this didn't take that long this is what a t-rex looks like and this is uh what a defeated t-rex looks like right so done with this quest let's move over to dragonfire peaks rather simple quest in here also it's gonna ask you to collect 10 bleached bones simply find them and they're basically gonna be spread all over the world uh this is one and uh, this is another, so imagine how quick this is gonna go as well. That said, done with this quest. Final one is gonna be, well, it's not quite the final one, uh, but final, uh, I guess, Uber related, adventure related world is gonna be the Forbidden Spires. Let's just go there and... Uh, 
Uh, this this could take a little longer than usual. The quest in here is gonna ask you to get a feather. Let me check it out. Find a feather or a dragon scale. Feathers look like... Oh, God. I don't have... Hmm. I think I got some in my chest so I can show you what I'm talking about. Gonna put this down. Gonna check my personal chest. Alright, so this is a feather. This is what it looks like. And this is a dragon scale, sagely blue dragon scale slash fiery feathers. The way you get them, the fastest method from my experience is by killing not dungeons, not completing dungeons, but killing monsters randomly. Like so, ideally you would have something like a ranged class that's fast paced, so uh, so you make this quicker. It's gonna take a while until you get one such drop. So just stay patient, cause it's worth doing, and uh, that's how you basically complete this quest. That's the fastest method. Now. There's some extra quests for you to do, such as the uh, Drowned World one, which uh, which is basically gonna ask you to get like 5 drowned, drowned old boxes. That is super quick and really worth doing. I believe this also uh, have a chance of getting your boxes, so collect water gem boxes, you've already done it for the day, and uh, all you have to do is to gather 5 such boxes. There's a quest for every single primordial world, so one for water, one for air, and one for fire. Go in any Uber, it doesn't matter, and do the quests. Uh, that is pretty much it, that's my daily routine. You could also choose to do some geode quests, but this aren't uh, day locked. You can do as many as you wish and they take the longest, but that, if you want to farm adventure, and that's the way to do it. There you have it, this one is gonna take a while, it's gonna ask you to find uh, 500, uh, what is this? Any war I, I guess, but the reward is uh, rather consistent. Imagine this with an, with an adventuring potion and uh, during the bonus day. Yeah, I think it's worth doing. But I usually skip this one since, yeah, it just takes too long. Anyway, so there you have it. That's my brand new daily routine for farming these boxes. I usually get around uh, 3 to 4 a day. So, yeah, that's why you can look forward to it. That said, hopefully this video was helpful to you. I'm gonna continue gathering, I don't know, around... Last time I've opened 11, I now have 11 as well. But I may wait up until 25 or 30 to have some more, right? Anyway, so that said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If so, let me know in the comments, and I will see you on the next one.